Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy 3 within the Final Fantasy Marathon. And in this episode I will be returning to Castle Sasune in order to find Princess Sarah where she will use the Mithril Ring in order to finally lift the Jinn's Curse. And with all of the villages within this area uh, free from the curse, I will be continuing the story by breaking the rock in Nelv Valley in order to get to Canaan and the Dragon's Peak. So without further ado, let's get into it. There's going to be quite a bit that's going to happen, but it doesn't take too long to do most of it, because that's just how it is. But hopefully I'll get two battles um, before breaking Nelv Valley, because I would like to... Uh, lose all of the uh, disadvantages that you get for um, swapping classes but it should be okay yeah Ingus is actually probably gonna do better damage just because he gets the uh, white slayer which for some reason Lunith can't get but hey hey Everyone, Ingus, Lady Sarah, I am glad to see you are safe. Now you must cleanse the ring in the Blessed Spring, and that should lift the curse. The Blessed Spring flows below Castle Sasune. Let us hurry inside. Princess Sarah throws the ring into the water. The curse should be lifted now. You should go speak to father. You have returned. Your courageous deeds have saved the kingdom. You have my deepest gratitude. Thank you, sire. But we must go. You've been chosen to be the warriors of the light. Warriors of the light, you say? Inga, are you leaving as well? Yes, sir. I see. Then I bid you all well. Know that our hopes go with you, young champions. Yes, sire. Take this with you. It will surely prove itself useful during your journey. Foldable canoe. So there we go. So we can speak to people? I hear that Catalyst Smith and his apprentice were the ones who forged the Mithril Ring. Hmm. Maybe so I'll go train under them. Legend says that four great warriors sealed away the djinn a thousand years ago. Did they now? Interesting. Thank you, Warriors of the Light, you saved us all. Everyone, it's Lady Sarah. Everyone be safe. Promise me you'll come back to Sasune when your duty is done. Fear not, our word is our bond. We shall return. So now we go get the canoe. Imagine getting a preemptive strike against these idiots. Not the Enterprise. 
Here we go. Father. Raffia, you're alright. Thank the heavens. I, I don't cry, Father. Everyone's looking. It doesn't matter. I was so worried about you. Now let's go home. What? Wait, Father. Just continue with the steps I need to do first. Good work. I knew you'd pull it off the moment I saw you. I'm guessing you can make better use of my airship than, than I can myself. But first, I want you to take me back to Canaan. Mrs. Sid's been waiting a mighty long time for me to come back. Have you been to this town's mithril mines? I'm going to tell you a secret, so listen up. There's a hidden passageway in those tunnels. I heard you can find it in the corner of the first room. I'd go look for it, but that place gives me the heebie-jeebies. Look, I'm not a ghost anymore. Ah, sweet mortality, how I've missed you. Those who have ever known about the Mr. Mind Street have been there. I'm finally free from that awful ghost form. Now it's time for everyone to swoon over my beautiful appearance again. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, don't, don't love yourself. Don't be a narcissist. A narcissist will not gain you anything. Have you been to Nell Valley? It's the only passage to the Parmini Mountains that connects in and out of Sasune. There's a big rock blocking the way now. My grandma lives in Canaan, but there's no way I can go see her. Now that the curse has been lifted, it's time to get back to business. Sid, you old dog, it's good to see you, and not through you, again. Yeah, I hear you. Say, Tucker, we were thinking of busting that rock in Nelv with the airship, but I reckon we'd need a mithril ram on the ship's bow. Do you think you can hack one together? A mithril ram, eh? Sounds feasible. Wait here and I'll smash you one in no time. Refia, give me a hand or three, will you? Done and done. Your airship has been fitted with the ram, and you'll find it outside Kazus. Sterling handiwork as always, Tucker, and fast too. Let's set her up and bust some boulders. And here we go. You guys are late. What? Well, but I thought, shouldn't you be? We all promised the crystal we'd go on our journey, and I won't. I don't want to be a smith just yet. I'm thankful to Father for taking care of an orphan like me all these years, but this is something I have to do. Wait, you're an orphan too? Two? You mean I'm one too? Wait a minute, I too have no parents. It can't be a coincidence. The crystal must have known. Sounds like it's going to be an interesting journey. Now, let's go break that rock. Before we do that, though, I think I can come back in here without Refia leaving now. Yeah, there we go. Right, the when Mithril is forged by a trained smith, it gains special properties. Yep.
So magic. I didn't need poisoner in the end, but it's okay. Right, get some more equipment. I think own uh art can only equip both but that's okay. okay. I mean, I can get him at the back, if I need to. I'm not using a monk, so Grum's knuckles are no longer needed either. There we go. Right, so we'll equip, and then once everyone is equipped, I'll sell stuff, and then go from there. Right, there we go. Um, I'll leave the holy arrows because I could give it to. Um, oh. There's not really much else to do for now. But I mean, if there is a secret in Mithril Mines, I have never found it. At least I don't think I ever have. Bum 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 of course they uh, target arc not surprised really but, and they once you get rid of the detrimental uh, bonuses well not bonuses but just the detrimental effects and status decreases of changing jobs you're then allowed to gain job levels um, which of course is very important I never knew about this. I, I can't believe I've never found this. I mean, like, why did I, I? Why was I such an idiot? Never used to speak to NPCs. It's literally its own dungeon. 
Missile sword. Two missile swords. Just like that. Do you know how helpful that would have been? If I had it before. There's nothing here now, but you know. Do 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 Ba 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 dum 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 dum. I don't know if I, I don't remember if I ever found that or not. But at least I found it now. Bit too late, mind you, but hey hey. Do 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 do. So as you can see, they gain intellect and mind because it's important. Well, I mean, intellect is more important for black magic, mind is more important for white magic. And of course, it's the same for Ingus as a red mage because they both need to be balanced. And there they go. You can get a bow. You can't get a bow, then I've buggered it, but we'll see. But first, I don't actually know if Elder to Papa tells you anything after you do the first quest. I want to see. You may, you have my praise for your deeds in Kazus. I wish success on the rest of your journey. Doesn't say anything else. There we go. No, I wanna, I wanna see if there's any tiny little extra. Uh, uh, little bits that I've just never found before. Just want to see if I can find them, you know. You can't even equip a bloody bow. What is his base attack power? Because that'll put him to six. Is there even any point? There really isn't. I might as well just back row him. Refia doesn't need to back row because she can actually do some good damage. Actually, no, I probably will just because she can use magic. Yeah, let's back row her. <laughs> Idiotus Maximus, what are you doing, us? There we go. And yeah, we get an airship but lose it straight away. So they cook hold us basically. Ooh. It is only a flesh wound. Yeah, as you can see, the map outstretches the further you go through. Here's a barb. Good old barb. Well, not barb, I don't know why I think it was a big barbarian. There's a berserker. <laughs> there we go, lovely jubbly. Well done, Ark, well done. See, your accuracy is affected in the back row, as well as damage. You don't hit as much, and you don't hit as hard. There we 
game. Thank you for your help, lads. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you out. I know. You'd probably want to get your hands on a new airship. Well, I'm the man for the job. We'll have to meet King Argus first. See? Only made the airship's whole. The king's the one who knows the secret of, s of creating airship engines. Come see me again once you've spoken with King Argus. <laughs> Here we go in Penarn. Rumour has it that there's a gnome village hidden somewhere in the woods south of here. Yeah, um, Hoggis. Want to make sure I do spend the money. You do get some. Um, you do get stuff from. The FSB dungeon, which allows you to um, get the super buff at the end, which I'm actually going to show off within the playthrough. If you saw my advent calendar in 2019, you'll notice I did it, but anyway, I heard that traveling mage with a magical healing solution somewhere in the town a long time ago. This is an elixir. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, um, that's what happens though. Put your nose in. Is there any items I'm going to need? Oh, it's safe. Feels good for a gold needle to not be like 500, like it is in one and two. But, you know, it's not as easy to get rid of in three, like magic wise, because a sooner is very rare. That young lad Desh brought the last mini scroll off me. What does that spell do? It shrinks it to gnomish size. That's what it does. Yeah, mini and toad status are actually quite useful in FF3, as you'll see. Anyway, missile armor, yep, yeah, get that. Yep, 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 yep. So, that's the same armor shop, but. There you go. Why hello there, we don't usually get this many visitors around here. The last one we had was a young man named Desh. <laughs> Aero is a white magic spell well, that harnesses the powers of wind to damage the enemy. Flying monsters are especially vulnerable to it. Oh, here's the second dancer of the game. Why hello there, I'm a dancer, watch me prance. Cheers for that. Lovely job, boy. Right, we go. We don't need poison and we don't need blind, we need to pull down. I'm sure I'm meant to get air in. Right, so cure and poison and blizzard sleep. Fire thunder. Cure blizzard fire thunder. I'm meant to get air in now, alright. I am in confusion. Unless you only get it in a chest at this point, you must do. Why can I give you the best healing item in the game? Straight away, the elixir, but 
there is a little quest where you actually use the elixir on someone else instead. Because there is no such thing as a mega elixir in Final Fantasy 3. I think if it, I don't remember if it's in the original four. If it is, that's the first title to have a mega elixir. But in games that do have mega elixirs later on, I have a golden rule uh, where I do not use a mega elixir. I find it too cheap. It's just the rule I have. Can't Ark just have that? I would have happily done a few extra battles to get 1,200 and then get a few arrow arrows of it, but whatever. And let's go in here, meet uh, the girl that loves death. I to talk to her anyway. Oh, Desh, my beloved Desh, when will you be back? Why would you go to the mountains in the east where a dragon is said to dwell? And what would drive you to go to such a place alone? Hey, do you think we should check out this dragon mountain? Definitely. Let's go look for this Desh guy and bring him back here. So this dragon, um, if you know who he is, he is the goat of all summons within Final Fantasy. My daughter Selina has fallen in love with that va vagrant Desh. But he didn't stay a fortnight before he left, mumbling about some tasks he'd promised himself to do. And Selina's been angsty and crying ever since. And Mallet. A gold reader. Yeah, the Dragon Mountain, very, uh, very important. And it kind of leads what happens over the next few parts to happen uh, of course it needs it needs to happen in order to progress as a story that's the resurrecting spring Mrs. Sid got gotten sick while I was away. Don't worry, she'll be fine. If only I could get my hands on a bottle of elixir. My cough, it's gone. I I feel better. Thank you for all for helping me and Sid. Thank you again. That'll be two I owe you all. We've all grown so much. Well, you've only been with us for a couple of days. Couldn't have grown that much. <laughs> oh, um, I just remembered. See that lamp on the wall? Push it. It'll open the way to the hangar where I used to park the old airship. There might be something in there that we can use. I don't know how we got the airship into the house and then into this basement, but unless there's some un another underground bit that just you know isn't revealed, but we won't argue with game logic. Like we'll just let it happen. But one of the extra quests that you get um, for the post-game boss is actually around here as well. You come back here, but that is not yet. Do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. All of these secrets are very useful for finding shizzle as a needle. One last thing to do, and that'll be going up Dragon's Peak or Dragon Mountain. Doesn't matter what you call it. Same difference. What are your 
100% unready. Fantastic, brilliant, we love that. Oh, c'est magnifique, a hell diver. Why have I not got aero yet? <laughs> oh my god, he's been petrified. That's not a cockatrice, what are you playing at? God! We've only got five gold needles, like, take it easy, Jesus Christ. Oh, good. Right, don't petrify again, please. There we go, that's what we like to see. We're gonna make we're gonna make it difficult though, you know. We're gonna try and do it under level. I mean, I did it under level to what I usually did first playthrough, but I'm gonna do it even lower level this time. Cause I'm a bad rude boy, bad boy MC. Say my name, say my name. There, there you go. Then we get the same crap again. Maybe them to attack a singular Helldiver. Oof! And then Refia attacks with a single targeting magic. Oof! I think she has more resistance to petrification then. No, he did. Oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't target properly in the mind. I can finish him off here, it's okay. Don't petrify, please. I might as well use another blizzard. Dungeon's not too big. Oof! Wow, fantastic. We love that one. Boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo, boo. So magic starts off really overpowered in the first half of the game, and then you kind of stop using it. There's a lot of useful spells, um, more black magic, but it kind of falls off a bit before then picking back up for endgame. I mean, it's kind of a requirement to have uh, a good set of black magic in the first half of the game, but I said it kind of drops off a bit. But... Oh, we've got a rock. There's no need to shout. There's no need to cause a riot. Ouch. Oop. Oop. That's actually helped with it. Attack the same target. I think that he's a beefy boy, he's running around. Yep. Oof! Oh, goodbye to both of you. Night night. There we go. Lovely job, There's no need to shout. There's no need to cause a riot. Oof.
Oof. Lovely job, right? Oh, the chest should be here. Yep. Arrow, right, oh, there we go. So that is the goat Bahamut. So we've seen the first one, he's like wenches, get me a rat's tail and I'll I'll improve your stats. But well, he's implemented it as a summon in Final Fantasy 3, which is the uh, start of the summons within the franchise. And anyway, here we go. Here's Desh. Haha, <laughs> I can't believe you let yourselves get caught by that dragon. Like you're the one to laugh, it got you too, didn't it? Oh well, <laughs> yeah, you got me. The name's Dash, nice to meet you all. Ah, oh, the dragon's back, let's get out of here. Don't even think about fighting that thing. Listen to me and just run, run away, run away! Got oofed. Big oof. Whew. I'm glad we got out of that. Here, yeah, why don't you take this? It's a scroll for the magic spell mini. Turns out I'm not attuned to the magic enough to use it, but you, maybe you can. In return, let me tag along wherever you're headed. You see, I, I lost my memory. The only thing I know is my name and nothing else. Sure, I don't mind. Is that okay with you? Why are you asking me? Oh, never mind. Hey, Death. Did you know that Selena's been worried sick about you, waiting for you to come back? Yeah, but see, even though I lost my memory, I know there's something I've got to do out here. Well, I'm sure it'll sort itself out somehow. I've got you guys to count on. So Dash has given me Minnie and he's joined the party. Let's go. Come on, let's get out of here before that thing comes back. Jump. Yeah! Healing top. I came to take some of this strange water back to the gnomish village in the southern woods. Only gnomes can enter that village. Unless you use them to spell many. That shrink you down to gnomish size and you'll be all ready to visit Kozis, the village of gnomes. I do love the Kozis theme, it's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, HPMP restored. Status removed. Well, I want to pop a mini. Pop a chocky milk. A chocky milk helps the pain go away. So let's use mini. Heal up. But I won't remove status. The left one is a resurrection pool, but Raffia got the oofed straight away. 
Right, there we go. So, that marks the end of this episode of my playthrough of Final Fantasy 3. And in the next episode, I will be heading to the Gnomist, Gnomish village of Tosus, where I will take the Tosus passage to the Viking cave, where I will learn that the Nepto dragon has been disturbed. And I will have to go on another quest in order to make the Nepto dragon sleep once again within the Nepto shrine. But until then, I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you in the next episode.